Welcome to part 32 of Final Fantasy X-2. We're continuing our Calm Spear side quest today. And with that side quest, we are going to go to Jose, where we have to talk to Gipple first. Hey, it's this little girl. We have a name. You seem close. We made quite the couple. Oh! Did you know we choik? <laughs> Riku's always good for a laugh. If you're here about digging, this isn't the best time. Well, there were fiends here too, right? Want us to clean up for ya? Fiend hunting? What? You guys give up the sphere gig? Temporarily. Right now, we're helping people out. Maybe you'd like to hire us? Nope. You already took care of Sin. We can't go running to you every time we get into trouble. Hmm, I watch my own back. Hmm, show off. <laughs> well, be careful. You too. Right. Come on. And that's basically all we have to do is just talk to Gipple. Many people will miss out on this cutscene in this chapter because they would go straight for the hot spots. But it's best to save the hot spots till after you deal with all the extra stuff. But for the time being, it's time for us to go to Guado Salon because Guado Salon is pretty much going to be the rest of the part as it not only houses a crimson spear but it also houses actually it houses two crimson spears to be honest but it also houses uh, two other spears as well as a mandatory lecture from my chin oh, I dread those things anyway it's time for us to go into Guado Salam and watch how Ormi and Logos fail at trying to make LeBlanc happy. No, seriously, they fail miserably. LeBlanc, there's nothing to worry about. Not even close. Let's see you do it then. <clears throat> oh, LeBlanc, there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> Look who's talking! What are you doing? <laughs> the boss has been rather depressed since Nuge went missing. We wants to comfort her, see? Oh, was that supposed to be Nuge? That bad, was it? Yep. No. Even if you did sound like Nuge, do you think it would actually help? It would. Whatever you say. Yeah, you also have to talk to the LeBlanc Syndicate because people will end up missing out on that too. So, it's best to come here. Yeah, more than likely people will miss out on that. Anyway. If, by some reason, you actually succeed in getting LeBlanc's massage perfect the first time around, you'll get the gold hairpin, but at the same time, a crystal bangle will show up in her room. As a matter of fact, it should be right next to her bed. But unfortunately, I didn't actually do that right. Leave me alone. Don't you want to hunt some spheres? The gullings are gonna get all the spears and spear, you know. Fine by me. There's no point in chasing after spheres if my Nuji Wuji isn't there to smile. What difference does it make? You're a mess. Say whatever you want. Well, LeBlanc will just sit there and sulk for a while. 
and she will remain sulking like that until chapter 5, so don't even worry about her. If there was actually a treasure chest here, I would have gotten it by now. Anyway, <clears throat> now it's time for us to go back downstairs to talk to Logos and Ormi. They actually will advance things a little bit further. So let's do that, shall we? What if we showed her a sphere of Nooch? Why ask us? Go for it. Of course, that sphere. We took one in Bavel. Care to watch it? What's on it? We haven't looked yet. Meet us in our room. We'll have a little screaming. Now, just out of curiosity, did LeBlanc replace all that fruit with fake food? Or is that been sitting out there for the last two years? I'm kind of baffled at the shelf life there. But that's not the point. The point of the matter is, the secret door is open and now it's time for us to go to LeBlanc's goons room. Sorry, that's what I meant to say, Logos and Army's room. But now, the place no longer is filled with, uh, LeBlanc Syndicate goons, it's instead filled with fiends. And wow, I definitely got a really good critical hit from that basconet. And it's just like all the other salad and heavy armor type monsters. If it oversouls, it's just gonna break your items. That's basically all it's gonna do. Oh, while we're here, I do believe there's a Crimson Spear here. Ah, that's a Tetra Band, but there is a Crimson Spear here. I'm trying to remember it. Ah, there it is. It's up here. Get, get, get over it this way. Nope, nope, nope. Where is it? There it is! Where is the Crimson Spear? There it is. There it is. Alright, Crimson Spear 4. We're gonna have to watch that when we get back. Or more importantly, watch it before the end of this chapter. That is a definite must. Now then. Logo's room is not too far from here, but first... Let's get into a random encounter. Oh god damn it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it! Last thing I need to see! <sighs> I'm just gonna keep my warrior dress here for the time being, cause the monsters here are a pain in the butt. Alright, there's no treasure chest here, but that room is important actually, for later on. Oh god, this is just sad. By far the saddest monster encounter ever. You got a skink and a water elemental, or blue elemental. Doesn't matter what he is, he's dead. Alright, next up, we go to Logos' room, so that way we can just speed up things. Is it just me or is Riku too relaxed on that couch? Camera angle! Really? Let's see. Mm, this should be it. There's someone there. Really? Where? Where? I'll 
What was he doing there? I don't like it. What? All these secrets. It's just one thing after another. If I may. You're free to do as you please, but I'd prefer you not mention this to the boss. Why not? Whatever this Vegnagun thing is, it's clearly dangerous. Nothing the likes of we Sphere Hunters have any business fooling around with. But if the boss knew Nuge <laughs> were involved, well, there'd be no stopping her. If anything were to happen to her... You guys got it rough, don't you? If only she noticed. Is this one from Bethel, too? Ooh, we've been taking naughty pictures again. I didn't shoot this one. I found it. The image is badly deteriorated. Must be old. Ah, the only reason the war's dragging on is because Zanarkin refuses to surrender. You're wrong! <gasps> Stop attacking, there wouldn't be a war! We're not falling for that. referring to the Machina War of a thousand years past. When did you sneak in, old man? You can't expect me to remember everything that happens. <clears throat> I must admit, the likeness is positively uncanny. It can't really be him. Can it? I'm afraid not. After all, that sphere was recorded a thousand years ago. Right. Of course. Hmm? Oh, God, not this guy again. <sighs> Let's sit through it, and you can't really skip it this time. Would you like to hear more? You have to say yes. Lady Yuna, a rumor has been going around of Perhaps you've heard it. They say that High Summoner Yuna was accompanied by a guardian from, of all places, Zanakant. Oh, yes. That young man raised quite a few eyebrows at the Blitzball tournament in Luka. I spoke to him myself on a number of occasions. I could sense that he belonged to an other world. That he should look so much like the man in that sphere cannot be mere coincidence, I should think. There's a connection. There is. I would very much like the chance to ask him and clear this matter up once and for all. But he's gone. Just like the Faith said, our dream will vanish. A dream of the Faith? Is that right? Hmm. Oh, my. What is it? Oh, I had something on the tip of my tongue, but then it slipped away. Something very important. Oh, frustrating. Well... I suppose I'll just have to think on it a little more. Until next time, Lady Yuna. 
We are all connected. There may yet be a way to reunite with those who have gone. What? Watch what you say. Forgive me. Consider it the ramblings of an old man. And with Maichin's mandatory rambling out of the way, I would like to bid farewell for this part, cause next time we're going to actually see Shinra plant the Calm Spear in Guado Salam, and the entirety of part 33 is the Machina Mayhem mission. This is RVMan985, see you guys next time as we do more mandatory stuff.